Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Today we have probably the most highly anticipated product of 2017, the Umarex Gauntlet in 22 caliber. Let's get to it. All right, guys, I'm really excited. We're bringing you the gauntlet here in 22 caliber, and this is a production gun. Uh, we've seen a lot of other content out there on pre-production models. Uh, I've had the opportunity to shoot a couple iterations of the pre-production guns, and they've all been phenomenal. They set a very high standard, and we had the opportunity to put one of those guns on video for you guys, but we chose not to release that content because, quite frankly, I don't care about what a pre-production gun can do. It all matters if the production gun that's going to get into your guys' hands can do it too. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to take a look at the Gauntlet in 22 caliber here and see if it lives up to the high standard that the pre-production models have set. All right, guys, starting at the front of the gauntlet, of course, uh, one of the hallmark features of the gun, fully shrouded barrel. It's a 23 and a half inch barrel underneath this full length shroud. It's about a 28 inch shroud unit. And we do have kind of a, a mono core style baffle system. So it's not like some guns we've seen where there are individual baffles inside there. It's actually a two piece unit that comes together, which means you really shouldn't have any problems with clipping or anything like that. Uh, so overall, that should be a very good design and the gun is very quiet. We're gonna, of course, sound test it for you guys and see how performs there. Moving back under the barrel, we do have a 13 cubic inch bottle. Now this bottle translates to about 200 plus cc's, just a little over that actually 200 cc mark uh, of air capacity and it's a 3000 psi fill, so a standard fill and a very similar air size to what you have on like your Benjamin Marauders and guns in that kind of range. Um, you do have your gauge on the right hand side of the gun and then we do have a male quick disconnect fitting on the left hand side of the gun. This is really nice, really convenient. You have plenty of space to fit your female QD in there on the end of your hose, whether you're pumping or filling with a tank. This is going to be super easy to connect to. Uh, this cage portion actually does remove so you can remove the bottle and you remove it via the swivel stud. So you take the swivel stud completely out and then you just kind of squeeze the cage portion and bring it off. Uh, the bottle is actually integral to the regulator. So you can actually purchase uh, regulated bottles for this gun to fit right on here. And our Air Venturi 13 cubic inch bottle does fit right onto this gun. You can purchase it right now if you wanted to have a spare cylinder going with you. Uh, one thing I do want to note though, is that it does come with this degassing tool and you do have to degas the cylinder to go ahead and remove it. So to do that, you would just insert the degassing key right here and then twist all the way around. You'll hear it go, it vents out the barrel. So make sure you're unloaded with the magazine removed when you go ahead and degas that cylinder. And of course you guys will note that I did say it is a regulated bottle, which does mean the gauntlet should have regulated performance. What that means is that we should get very consistent shot to shot velocities as well as a lot of shots. They're claiming about 60 shots on a 3000 PSI fill down to that 1150 PSI regulator pressure. We're gonna obviously put it over the chronograph and see if that holds true. We'll find out. The pre-production guns that we've shot all hold up to that claim, so we'll find out if the production guns do as well. Taking a closer look at the breech, guys, we do have a repeater action, so you do have a 10 round magazine in 22, same in 177. Uh, I have confirmed that the Marauder magazines will work in these. Very nice magazine. We know it's a reliable system. They've been used for a long time. Uh, and overall, I've had no problems running this magazine, no jams, anything like that. The guns do also come with a single shot tray, which is nice if you wanna get uh, just to milk a little bit more accuracy out of the gun. And the way you load those is via a side bolt action. So a nice big bolt here to go ahead and grab onto. Simply goes up and back and then you're gonna slide it down into that rear position to go ahead and insert your magazine or your single shot tray. They have a nice audible snap in when you go ahead and put them in. And then when you're ready to go, you just simply push the bolt forward and you're all set. Really easy to operate system. The gun decocks like just about any other PCP does. You simply hold the bolt back, go ahead, pull the trigger, you hear that click, and then you can slowly slide it forward. You're all good to go. The safety dropping down here is a flip style safety. So that is your safe position right there. And when you're ready to go hot, you just simply flip that forward and you're set to go. We do have a metal trigger blade as well. And Umarek says via the manual that it is adjustable. Uh, we didn't adjust it for this video here. I can tell you guys it has a pretty long take up, uh, but it comes to that consistent stop for that, uh, I suppose, second stage wall, if you want to say it that way. Although again, with that long take up, calling it a two stage trigger right out of the box, maybe not so true, um, but it doesn't break that heavy. Uh, it's right around three pounds. 
And again, very consistent when you get to that second stage wall. So I didn't have any problems with this trigger as it's set up. I do know it can go lighter as well as have a more defined first, second stage. So that's good to know it's capable of that. And coming up to the top of the breech, we do have an 11 millimeter dovetail and it is a split breech design. So you do have a dovetail section in front of and behind your magazine. Uh, all depends on the length of scope you're gonna be using. Because we're using a three to 12 compact SWAT style leaper scope today, you really don't need to go ahead and mount it forward and backwards to get that proper eye relief. And you'll note that we have plenty of room, I'll show you here, to go ahead and get our magazine in without causing any contact between the gun and the scope. But that is something to consider. You're probably gonna wanna go with high rings with most optics on this gun, just to make sure you can clear that magazine. And of course, we do have a fully synthetic stock on this gun with an adjustable cheek piece, which is an awesome feature to see, especially for a gun in this $300 price range. Rubber butt pad on the back. A really cool note, by the way, you simply loosen the swivel stud here on the bottom to go ahead and, and adjust this via the thumb wheel. And this is actually your vertical up and down uh, adjustment of the cheek piece. And then when you get it locked in and in that position that's best for you and your scope height, you're gonna wanna go ahead and then crank this clockwise to tighten it down and that's gonna lock you in place. Really nice feature. Overall guys the gauntlet feels pretty nice it balances quite well out there. Uh, I find that this kind of swooped out section is where it balances best for me offhand. Uh, you are talking about roughly eight eight and a half pound gun without a scope and a 46 inch overall length which is on the long side uh, but it is very quiet and we do need that extra shroud length to keep it that way. Um, overall really like the feel though it doesn't have that kind of cheap plasticky feel that a lot of synthetic stock guns do. Um, but so overall pretty impressed, but I'm really excited to get this out to the range guys and see what it can do on paper and over the chronograph. So let's head out and check out those results. All right, guys, we decided to take the gauntlet straight out to 45 yards. There's really no point in testing really any PCP closer than that for the most part. Uh, and the results are pretty good. We tested about 10 pellets in the gauntlet and we found that three did better than most. So we're talking about one inch groups is what my personal wanting was in this gun. You know, if we can do a one inch 10 shot group at 45 yards, I consider that a pretty solid grouping. Not great, but pretty solid. And the Predator GTO is delivered right at about an inch for 10 shots, not too bad, but we definitely can do better. Uh, the JSB 15.89s, you got a three quarter inch group there, very tight little spread there. The regulator is certainly doing its job. Uh, keeping those shots consistent. And the H&M Field Target Trophy is also coming in right at about three quarters of an inch. So pretty good groups, again, 10 shot groups. So they're gonna be a little bit bigger than they would be if they were five, but the gauntlet could certainly deliver out at distance, 45 yards, sub one inch groups, pretty impressed with the gauntlet. So with our most accurate pellet, the JSB Exact Jumbo 15.89 grain, we're looking at an average feet per second of about 790, 789. Uh, which is right about 22 foot pounds. Now the important part here, Umrex claims 60 shots per fill and they hit that number on the money from a 3000 PSI fill down to that 1100 PSI regulated mark. Uh, with an extreme spread of 18 feet per second and a standard deviation of only 3.3 feet per second, uh, the numbers are pretty impressive here, guys. It's a little on the large spread side for a regulated gun, but still, anything under that 25 foot per second mark really isn't going to impact your accuracy downrange out to about 50, 60 yards. So, gotta say, these numbers are looking very impressive and exactly what Umarex is touting.
All right, guys, there's not a lot I can say for the gauntlet that it doesn't say for itself on paper. Uh, very impressive offering in a $300 package. Uh, quite frankly, this is mind-blowing a little bit to see where the airgun industry has come to in such a short time. Uh, and for Umarex's first offering into the PCP market, this is definitely one you're going to want to have an eye on. Uh, again, 300 bucks. You really can't go wrong here. Uh, you're talking about three-quarter inch 10-shot group accuracy at 45 yards. You got decent power. It's a little underpowered, in my opinion, for a 22. Right about 22 foot-pounds with those 15.89s. Um, but you're getting 60 shots on a fill, guys. That's unreal, okay? And, of course, the fact that it's regulated means you're going to have very consistent results as well, which is why we have such good accuracy out of this gun it's quiet uh, it's accurate multi-shot capability the trigger can be adjusted the stocks adjustable there's a lot of features packed into this gun guys definitely check this one out on pyramidair.com guys when you have a chance to uh, and as always comment down below tell us what you think about the gauntlet what else you'd like to see going forward in the future uh, hit us with that like button and don't forget to subscribe as always I'm tyler patner for the insider we'll see you guys at the next one